Hey everybody, <coughs> sorry, hello everybody and welcome back to the city stand. Now, obviously you've seen by the thumbnail that the video is about the new Leicester City Stadium expansion. Now, plans have been finalised and obviously we'll get into more detail about that. But um, the King Power, when they've extended it, will be a capacity of around 40,000 seats and improving the visitor experience with better hospitality, food and drink and will obviously create a iconic Midlands destination with far-reaching benefits for the Leicester economy. Now, obviously, Leicester will try and maintain the full capacity but if we just try and get up some pictures here, so give me a minute guys. So yeah, it is looking good, but I don't know if it'll look that good when it's done. Obviously, we're just going to show you some pictures now. So, obviously, these are the pictures that have been showing on the website. So, obviously, this here will be obviously the multi-story car park. There is a 220-room hotel, and this here, obviously, that will be the hotel we're guessing. And this here will be the multi-entertainment um, centre and arena. And obviously, this is what it will look like from inside. So, you'll have your new 8,000-seater. And obviously the new roof and everything built on, which is obviously taking up to 40,000 seats. So obviously that's from a different point. Obviously that's your main road coming into um, the city ground. Obviously it's going to be the east side that is going to be extended. Well, it's not. I don't think it's going to be extended out. Well, it is, but it's going to be more upwards. So on one side we'll have two tiers, which I don't think is bad, but we will have to see. Now then, we shall obviously get this all done and right. Right then, we're back to it. So that's more of this stadium expansion done now obviously i did a video yesterday it might not have been yesterday it might have been the day before about the vestergaard move to leicester that has now gone through and now vestergaard is a leicester city player um obviously tried we're trying to get a picture up for you so we can see it but obviously we'll talk about it just in a minute Um, so yeah, Vestergaard has moved to Leicester, he was a Southampton player, but it is one of them where it has helped Leicester a lot, obviously we explained all the nitty gritty bits in the video that you can check out on our channel, but um, obviously Schmarkel and um, Vestergaard do share the same international team and they're going to be in the same club will that be a advantage or will it be a disadvantage hopefully an advantage but we shall just stick this video on and if it's not on there when I post it it's because of copyright issues hopefully it won't so we shall just play the video when I can find the right one there we go and cut and here we go then. Let's get the draw, okay. Yeah, I just think that we're How underprepared again. Yeah. And I look at the, you know, the lack uh, of creativity, I'm and that's going to become a problem. Uh, yeah. Gabriel nice missing. Debated. That's a problem. Uh, Remember last season, the first uh, game? Yeah. That was against Fulham. They just come up. Yeah, I mean, the only difference was there were no fans there. Yeah. But we Coaching battered staff. them. And I Players, thought that was going to be a really tough game, so but far, so I think yeah, this will be because of fans are here, it's a different proposition, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. I think well, Pepe will, you know, that's the one I'm looking at Friday. Yeah. 
couple of seasons. I think if Pepe has a good a game, we win. Really yeah. But, many but I think, you know, now, um, it really um, depends on him I this Friday. Brilliant. Well, gents, listen, thank you for your very, time. Very thank you for joining us at the stadium. Um, and pleasure. I wish you all the best for the rest of the season, just not Friday, obviously. Aside from that, come The same with us. You know what? I really, you know, I really want Brentford to stay up. I really want Brentford to do well. But as you said, not this Friday. <laughs> not, <laughs> you, you know, you get off to a bad start and then after that, you fly after that. You know what I mean? It'd be brilliant. Thank yes, you very much. Cheers. We'll be Turkish. Thanks a lot. No, no, thank you. Well, thank Love that, mate. Um, Oi, we wasted you last great, season, Manchester, didn't we? Um, you know what? People say a lot about Arsenal fans, even they get a lot of stick. But we were there that day. They are proper sound guys and they've got a lot of respect for Brentford evolving, actually. There's no the big club player. egos yeah. there. And Andres, say what you want about them. I think, you know what? Uh, Take one face value when you meet people. I thought they were proper guide, sound guys, weren't they? Uh, guiding, I think they were um, very honest with what they said. Uh, yeah. um, and that's good as well. Uh, I think you have to be I'm realistic as fans as well. Uh, yes, they're a massive the, club, got a the, great history. The my and they're coming up helping. against Brentford, who um, are the 50th not, new team in the Premier League. To, who are we? We're the new kids on the block. But I think there was some mutual respect game, going both so ways. Far, and sure they weren't convincing and compelling in their confidence. I know Robbie said that he thinks they'll win it. Well, Turkey class. thinks it'll be a draw. Uh, not seen anything it's like it's it a hard really, one to, to predict, Carly, isn't it? Um, it is a hard very, one to predict. Impressive. Arsenal seem a bit unprepared, and like they said, they, they the feel they're a little bit unprepared. But, mm. I think Brentford, it's also you know, they're they're, they're very prepared. I think, it's my first um, but and it's also it's also the that thing and, is, and the, and the you know, Arsenal so coming to Brentford isn't isn't exciting for Arsenal players necessarily, but Brentford playing against Arsenal at home with fans back. You know, the, the, the players get the chance to play in the team, Premier League. Um, They've been dreaming about this since they were kids and they've now finally got this, this chance. Um, I still have to, For them, the adrenaline, the excitement, that first that's going to be that's huge. The, the first and I just, I think, you know, if Brentford start right from, and, and from put Arsenal through, on the back foot from the, early, the I think and Brentford and could really cause a shock on the opening day. We said that a bit about pre-season. We've had a decent pre-season. They haven't really. Convincing win against Watford, but apart from that, not great. Does that matter, Marcus? It doesn't, it doesn't. I've seen teams in the past where the they've shield, been unbeaten yeah. and then start the season yeah, poorly yeah. and I've seen teams that have been poorly in pre-season <laughs> and then do the opposite have a great start it's a big motivation so, um, for me the indicators um, for us I think, I think has been good the preparation is, is, is the quality of matches as well the standard is, uh, of it I think that's really going to help and, us and, and start in a, in a good fashion um, I've not Robbie said there that they actually the, like playing away from like, home and last year their away form was really good but he said it suits them then because they can play on the counter stuff can they do that here? Teams, like, I'm not being funny. Um, not Are the Arsenal fans going to tolerate the them not having the ball against us? One, um, do you see what I mean? And yeah, also, yeah. if we have all the ball here, um, that's going to get this place so, rocking so that and that's going to get that relentless that, wave and wave of energy and, and the relentlessness on the pitch. So stuff can day, Arsenal set up that way or do they have to come at us a little bit? Because I don't see how they can sit there and go, oh yeah, on this pitch, Brentford, you have all the ball. And I'm not saying that that's because of stature of size, but... Can you do that as a, as a, as a club that size? Let a newly promoted team have all the ball against you on the opening day of the season, Carly? I, me personally, I don't think Arsenal can afford to do that. Yeah, I know, um, uh, even through pre season, like you you, there's still a divide between the fans. Um, Very well. You know, was, I think um, Arteta out was trending them, after the, the, pitch the Spurs well, game. So, that's um, be, be so easy, think, there's, a, there's already a massive pressure on Arsenal the, and on there. Arteta in particular. They're and I think if he if he comes up here and sure sets his team to sit in, uh, um, and let Brentford dominate the ball. I can't see the I can't see the Arsenal fans being, being um, very happy with that. He hasn't so, really had for to, me, I don't think I, I don't think they will the play you know counter-attacking football he's, he's um, against against us. It will be done. interesting to see. Um, um, but team, yes, yes, like I said, for me, we know the quality of Arsenal. Arsenal have got unbelievable players. They've got unbelievable quality. They've been in the Premier League for years and years and years. They've won things. They're serial winners. So we know what Arsenal have and what they can bring. But I just don't think they're fully prepared and ready yet. And if Brentford with the fans and stuff like that, this stadium is going to be rocking. So I know they've played away, but they've played away and done well away when there's not been any fans there. Now fans are back. There's a different pressure. And it's still, you know, this stadium is still very close. You hear every word. You know, you you feel every single thing that the fans feel because it's so close. We'll see how that. Arsenal deal with that was if they don't start well. Here, how do we play it then, Mark? Uh, we stick to our blueprint. Yeah. We've got a very successful blueprint. Um, it's seen us 
good in the last the, two the campaigns, culture, really. Uh, um, I think it's a, I've got a little saying, hard work beats talent I'm when talent refuses to, to work hard. So we've got the talent, we know we're going to work hard. And That's where the question is with Arsenal. Are there talented players really going to work hard to get them into the, the start of their season? That's down to them to, to, to answer. But I think from our perspective, I think we're well prepared. So that was... I don't know if you heard that right, because I just realised something else was playing. Brilliant. But I don't know if that'll be on there anyway because of copyright issues. But if it is, then I do apologise for the sound. But if it's not, then obviously I can't do anything about that. But obviously, that is the video for today. Obviously, website in the link below. We will watch a trailer. Obviously, you've probably seen the graphics on there, but watch the trailer. We've got a few, a few new things to come. Um, we won't be here for the first game of the season, unfortunately, but we will. We'll be here for the things, the three events that we'll definitely be here for are in the website that I'll link in the description below. And please go and show our supporters, uh, sponsors. Sorry, not supporters, the sponsors of this season on Facebook or link in the description in the video below. Little craft store um from home and um yeah, message them and they'll sort you out. So guys, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, turn notifications on so then you get regular updates of when we make these videos. We'll have to love you and leave you. Thank you. I'll see you on the next time. Cheers guys.